Hi there, I have some interesting questions for you. Questions that have been asked throughout history. Does God exist? And if he does, what happens after we die? The Bible says that God created everything, including you and me. In the same way that a building has an architect, a painting has a painter, and a sports car has a designer. There are only two possibilities. Nothing created everything, which is a scientific impossibility, or something created everything. That something is a someone, God. Now that leads to the next question. What happens after we die? Is there really a heaven and a hell? The Bible says God is holy and heaven is holy and that the word holy just means perfect. It's important to remember that God cannot allow anything imperfect into heaven. The Bible also says that no one is perfect. So how do we achieve this standard of perfection? Is there anything we can do to earn God's favor? The simple answer is no, we can't. God is just and holy and therefore God cannot allow anyone into heaven just because they've simply done some good things. Think of it like this. How many lies do you think you have told in your life? Probably too many to count if you're anything like me. Have you ever taken anything in life that was not yours, regardless of value? I think we can all admit to that one too. Now you might say, come on, lying and stealing are small things. I'm a good person. I'm not as bad as a murderer. And while that might seem true, it's interesting the way Jesus redefined words like murder. The Bible says, if you have ever hated someone in your heart, then you have murdered them in your heart. So ask yourself the question, have you ever felt hatred for someone in your life? Now that's only three of God's ten commandments. And if we were going to be judged by those commandments, something tells me we would all be guilty. So we have a problem. We are all going to stand before God on Judgment Day. In a similar way here on earth, a criminal will stand before a judge in court. Let's just say that criminal said, Judge, I know I'm a liar a thief and a murderer at heart, but hey, I did a few good things too. Can't you just let me off? No judge in his right mind would allow that criminal to walk free. And so it is with God. You cannot bribe God with your good works. So sadly, it looks like we are all headed to hell. But wait a minute. Doesn't the Bible say that God loves us? Yes, it does. And that's why God sent his son to earth. He became a man, lived a perfect life without sin, and that he willingly sacrificed his son on the cross so that God's justice could be served. Jesus suffered and died on a cross, and after three days God raised him from the dead, defeating death itself. And he is very much alive today at the right hand of God. God's justice was served, which means he can dismiss the case against you and allow you to walk free from his courtroom and into eternal life with him. And his grace is so great that all you have to do is repent of your sins and place your faith and trust in Jesus Christ as your Savior. In other words, turn away from all the bad stuff and surrender your life to him. That's how you become born again. It's like a new you. You actually become a new creation with a new heart and new desires. Then you enter into a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, and in His perfection alone, God will allow you into heaven one day. So the last question, when do you think you will do those two things, repent and trust in Jesus?